Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, World War II American compass pouch. Right, so let's take a look at this compass pouch then. It's not the fanciest piece of web gear in the world, but it still had a purpose and therefore is important to the channel. So this little compass pouch is designed to hold one of these. This is a standard American lens static compass. That'll be gone over at a later date when I'm much more informed about it. The pouch itself is very simple. You've got a lift the dot on each side made out of brass as most of the web gear was. You've got the standard metal hooks to attach it to your belt. If you flip it on the back, you can see that there is a loop here, but it's not a belt loop. You're never going to get a belt through there. That's just a tiny little loop. Not sure of the exact purpose for it, but you could just use it to tie it to stuff. With the lift the dots open, you can see that's a very simple, no frills, one compartment little pouch. So your Linstatic compass would go in here. If I grab it, I can show you. It's not got a lot of extra space in there, so you can't really use it for a lot else. But what you'll notice about this pouch is that when it closes, the fold line is here. So the pouch compartment is actually folded in on itself to help it be more resistant to the weather and such. And then you simply do the lift the dots back up and you have one then static compass inside its little pouch. The only really standout feature of this little pouch is that you notice that the material here is very dark. That's because these have been treated to be water resistant to protect the uh, compass inside. So you see the whole way around that's impregnated with, I don't know exactly what the chemical was, but it's to make it water resistant. Now you can get them without the treatment if I bring in this one here. This is a OD7 one that is quite faded, so this is probably a later war example, and you can see this is just a normal canvas, it doesn't have any impregnation in it at all, just a nasty fade line. So that's about the only special feature of this pouch is that it's been treated to be water resistant. Apart from that, it's just a simple two lift the dot operation just to hold a compass in. And then you can hang it on your belt or you can use that little loop to strap it to. So not the fanciest piece of equipment, but still something that's uh, not seen that often on the internet. So I thought I'd show you guys. So that's about it for this little pouch. Not the uh, most fascinating piece of equipment in the world, but as a bit of US webbing, I thought I'd better show you guys so you can see. If any of you are wanting to get hold of a lens static compass or you have a lens static compass without a pouch, this is the little pouch for you. You can get reproduction ones very cheap that are actually a bit bigger than a real one because the reproduction compasses are also a bit bigger than a real one, a lot of them anyway. Uh, or you can just get yourself an original. They're not the rarest item, however, they do sometimes go for a lot of money. At the time of making this video, I know there's one for sale on Facebook for eight, over $80, which is absolutely insane. You can normally get them considerably cheaper than that. I think this one sat in front of you right here was five pounds. So don't get ripped out off for a compass pouch. They're not that expensive. Anyway, I hope this has helped some of you and I'll see you soon.